The arts are an excellent conduit for almost anything you want to communicate about science, political life, environmental issues, social equity, history, education, health, cultural diversity, internationalism, and implicitly things like design, architecture and city planning, and yes, even sport. I pledge to lead the movement of making culture a permanent consideration in all of our lives. I promise to always promote our greater responsibility over my personal opinion. In a, tonight, in a day, in a week, in a month, I challenge you to identify a cultural community that is foreign to you, one which is not a part of your surrounding, even one which is outside your preference. Find an event which is created around this community, by this community, or for this community, and attend it. Write about this experience and send it to your own community. Repeat this for the rest of your life. <laughs> In the company of great actors and writers and artists, we have what we need, for they help us to live our lives. And this is what the arts do. They make experience and history survive. They make life itself survivable and most beautiful. The arts are not a lifestyle, especially not an elite lifestyle. They are life. When the gap between what is expected of Australian drama and what it can realistically produce is too great, the relationship between the repertoire and new drama breaks down in a fractious way. From an individual company point of view, it may feel that the harder one tries, the less satisfactory the results. Even when the results are positive, it may feel that the risks are significant and scary. And they are. My pledge is to dedicate ourselves to constant renewal, to reframe each stumble or compromise as a redetermination to enact and put the value of cultural life no, cultural, yeah, life and exchange on the agenda. One that is invitational rather than imposed. I feel that somehow in Australia there's an expectation of a homogenous theatre practice, mm -hmm. um, uh, and even universally. Um, and so I would say that Indigenous theatre practitioners are, do fight and have fought for the right for a place to, of difference within an even playing field. Mm. History is Made at Night is a little book which I'm hoping has a bit of a, an impact in, in, in the argument that's going on about trying not to let live music in Australia be killed. Um, live music moved into pubs in Australia, live contemporary music, uh, pop music, rock music, uh, maybe 40 years ago. And in the last 30 of those 40 years, uh, it's been under siege, one thing after another. I'd like to see celebration of, celebration of real achievement. And I think if you'd look for ways to measure that, I think it would be in looking at the audience. When the lights go down, looking at the audience and going, you know what, you're a much more diverse bunch than you were 10 years ago. Dear Australian theatre artists, there are some choices to make. Either get actively involved in imagining a future for our country, or get out of the way. If you can't articulate your work as a vision for a better, more humane society, then give it up. If all you have to offer is beauty and distraction, then work harder. Share the stories of your successes and failures. Use your imagination to think beyond what you have inherited, to foresee what the future could be. Look to the examples of those who have gone before us. Aboriginal society has so much to teach Australia in terms of how we treat our leaders, our elders and our wise people, how we define our role in a community and how we go about practising our culture. Don't let gratitude interfere with your purpose. Step up and take your place. Thank you. Love, Wesley. I suggest that business not only look at what we make in the theatre but how we actually make it. I mean, because in an age where any successful business will be built on creativity, budgetary constraint, responsive team-based project management that relies on harnessing the energies and skills of a widely diverse set of people and talents, well, you need to look no further than producing a piece of theatre as a fairly good structural model. But actually the business of art, in my opinion, is a very moral and sometimes even, as Julian has argued here, a political act. Art shows us the gap between what could be and what is. It is a deeply moral experience to be an artist.